probably a few months ago now, I did a video about the Motorola Zoo, a then upcoming but now released Android tablet running the new Android 3.0 version of the mobile phone operating system now optimised for tablets. And the Motorola Zoo bought, bought a whole bunch of cool features, um, a dual core processor, NVIDIA Tegra 2 processor, one gb of RAM, a 10.1 inch screen and was really going to be the ideal tablet for the masses. Uh, since then some reviews have been out but more importantly a few uh, weeks ago, uh, probably a week ago, I, I got the chance to try out a Motorola Zoom in a store so I wanted to give you my impressions after the reviews and after I have now got a chance to try it. So let's get started. Uh, and my first impression when I, I saw the motor I zoom was how how big and bulky it was. It's got a 10.1 inch screen and that be a measured diagonal with a resolution of 1280 by 800. And one of my main issues with the iPad was that you get less of boxing when playing high def video because it's only a 4 by 3 aspect ratio screen. Um, that being 4 by 3 obviously and comparison to 16 by 9 with a resolution of uh, 1024 by 768 in comparison to 1280 by 800 and, and what that 1280 by 800 resolution means is that in my opinion what a tablet is good for watching video and consuming media um, the motor zoom sh should in theory be better at and this is something I found certainly in the short time that I had to play with it. Um, uh, it images certainly look very crisp. Colours aren't as vivid as they are on the iPad but images do look very very crisp. On the Chrome browser, in spite of what some people have been saying, I think you can see evidence of the dual core chip and I think it, it's, it's very very fast and very capable. <coughs> um, there are issues with app support and that's certainly something I found as well. If you're used to an iOS device like I am, there, there is certainly a, a lot less selection of apps. We now have the BlackBerry Pro book released less than a week ago and that's certainly falling victim to the same kind of problems. Although it does bring some new things such as a 3 megapixel front facing camera and the QNX operating system to the table. Anyway, this video isn't about BlackBerry. So my general impressions of micro zoom are that it's a great, great, great tablet. And um, let me stress this, this was only after a few minutes of um, using the tablet in the store. I will not be buying it. If I buy another tablet, the chances are it's going to be the iPad 2 um, because as I'll talk about in an upcoming video I'm going to be going on some very long trips this summer and I need the two extra hour battery life that the iPad offers over the Motorola Zoom um, but if you're, if you're not someone who, need, who battery is a big concern for a new tablet device and I certainly have a very different outlook on the Motorola Zoom than I did before we announced. Anyway guys, what do you think about the Motorola Zoom? Have you got one? What, what do you think of it? I'm just really kind of interested to hear what you guys have to say on this. Um, anyway guys, leave your comments down below. Um, my website address is down below as well. You can check that out for more kind of um, tech content. That's over at tom-version.com dot com which should be down there. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.